Hey guys, I'm Religion Chen here. Um, so I um, a lot of news hasn't come out lately. Not much updates. I mean, we could talk more rumors, or we could. But um, as you probably know, this is going to be an unboxing slash review of this wonderful movie right here, Metallica Through the Never. Uh, this movie was released in theaters in late September, early October, um, and it did great. Uh, if you're not a fan of Metallica and you just like a good narrative, this is a good movie to see. Plus, it's got some great music for any Metallica fans there, and, uh, so I'm going to be doing my unboxing, and then after I will actually watch the movie, because I haven't seen it yet, I will, um give my review of what I think about it, you know, I'm probably going to give it positive because I'm a Metallica fan, but there might be some negatives about it, I don't know, um, so yeah, let's get started with unboxing this as I rip off the paper, uh, uh stupid paper, it's got some really good reviews, like on the front cover, it's like, from Entertainment Weekly, it says Metallica gets the grand 3D opera they deserve, and then that's not actually an opera if you've already seen it. And then a full throttle expression of rock and roll anarchy from Peter Travers of Rolling Stone, <laughs> and that's obviously the magazine, not the band. Okay, so let me just get this off. Ah, yes, finally, paper is off. Paper over here. Uh, I'm just put the paper in the garbage can. And so here's what the movie looks like with all of the crap on it. Uh, trying to get it in the spot where it won't be glaring. No, it's eh, eh. This good? No. Metallica through the never. Uh, the back. Which is uh pretty cool. Uh, now this comes with two discs. One disc is the actual movie. Another is the uh is the um the uh special features with like a music video from the master of puppets that was um featured in this movie so let's open this bad boy up <coughs> ah yes and here we have two discs this is what it looks like on the inside this is the little digital code uh, so yeah, this is the little digital code for like if you want to put it on your. I may give that away. I don't know yet. I may give it away. So let me just give you a close up of one of the discs. So yeah, that's what one of the discs looks like. And then if you take out both discs, I'm putting them on my lap. Um, not on the side where it can get stretched. You see this awesome inlay of them. I think they're playing the song Fuel off their 1997 album Reload. I can't remember. I think it was 1997. I can't remember. I just know it was in the late 90s. And so, yeah, that's that. And uh, so, again, this is the movie. This is the actual digital code. The back, uh huh. This is what the back looks like. Yeah. So, that's it for the unboxing. And I also want to show you something else that I picked up a couple of months ago. The soundtrack to the movie. Uh, and uh, it's it's got a pretty good soundtrack. Um, it comes with two discs. And when you take it out, it's so it's never yield. Take this off. Huh. Fear. And then when you pull this up, you got the first disc. Regret. Rest. And it's supposed to look like um, one of the masks. 
It's supposed to look like a cross. I me. Mean, try it like this. It's supposed to look like a cross, like one of the Master of Puppet crosses. But, uh, I'm obviously not laying it down, so it's kind of, eh, but, yeah. And it, it really is a great album. Um, it really is a great live soundtrack. I think it's great. It comes with this awesome stencil that you can, like, stencil anything onto. Like, this just little thing I did on the board. So I did that. I just drew it on the what was the back. And you basically, this covered this, and you got that. Basically, as these thing, and then when you took it off, it was just this. So, yeah, that's all I got now. So, again, and if you guys want to pick this up, you can now. It uh, was available on the Metallica store last week. Um, and it's now available in stores as of yesterday. So, um, so that's all I have for my unboxing. Uh, and uh, so let's move on to the review. Alright guys, so um, if you probably remember from the unboxing part of the video, um, I was going to watch the movie and then I was going to review it. I'm doing a review now. If you can see, it's probably it's later. It's the 9 o'clock and I recorded that at around 3 maybe. Uh, I had to go out and I knew I wouldn't get enough time before uh, 5, 2, because that's when I left. And uh, I got back at 6.30. I came in. I turned on the movie, and my mom brought me in my dinner, I ate it, and I watched the movie, and that, now we're here. And, uh, so, yeah, I want to get that off my chest, and I also want to, yeah, that's basically it. So, let's talk about this movie. Um, Metallica Through the Never. Uh, where's the tape here? Metallica Through the Never. Okay, so, this movie, um, is, I mean, this is also, uh, now I remember what I was going to say. It's going to be a spoiler-free review. I'm not going to give any spoilers. I don't want to spoil it for you because you're going to want to see this movie. I am promise you. So first off, let's talk about... Let's. I'm going to read off the back. Metallica Through the Never is a groundbreaking music-driven motion picture event. This film combines a spectacular concert performance by Metallica created exclusively for the film and a suspenseful narrative to produce a bracing, raw, and visceral cinematic experience. Emerging young star da Dan Dehan, he was in uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and 3 and other movies like A Place Beyond the Pine and Kill Your Darlings, portrays Trip, who is a young roadie sent on an urgent mission that turns into a surreal adventure while Metallica performs its most iconic songs during a roaring live set in front of a sold-out arena. Metallica Through the Never features the most elaborate live performance stage ever built and was filmed in state-of-the-art 3D photography captured up using up to 24 cameras. Simultaneously, the film is written and directed by award-winning award filmmaker Nimrod Antal. Antal. So, this movie has gotten great reviews. Four stars. One of the greatest concert films ever. You know, I'm reading that off the back, man. It, and I'm going to have to agree with these people. Um, This movie is probably the best concert movie I have ever seen. And I've seen plenty of concert films. Celebration Day, uh, Live at River Plate. I've seen... Uh, I want to see Gathered in the Masses, the Black Sabbath one. That looks good, too. And I've seen others. But this is by far the best because this is unique. This is not like any other where, you know, they show concert footage and then they show some guy eating a sandwich and then they show, you know, shopping at a shoe store or something. And so, you know, this movie... Is combined with a narrative. It's a narrative written by the director and, of course, the writers. And writing credits are towards the director and then the four members of the band. So, at, so this guy, he's a roadie. He's young. His name's Trip. He's sent on an urgent mission to find something, and then you know shit hits the fan and everything goes berserk. And uh, yeah. So again, I remember spoil free review, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, um, but this film really is a great film, even for a non-Metallica fan, because the narrative, if you don't like the music, you can still follow along with the narrative, you know, and maybe this will get you into the music, um, 
it goes in order of the actual soundtrack, which was released before the movie came out. So it goes in order there, but it starts off with an introduction instead of the first track, um, introducing our character and introducing our four main characters, which are the uh, members of the band. And it go, it, there's a nice balance of, um, you know, narrative and then concert film. And it's just really, it's a great film overall. And it really does capture your attention because you want to know what happens next. It keeps you on the edge of your seat because you want to know what happens. And then, of course, I came because I love the band and I love their music. So, And when I heard about this narrative and I saw the trailer, I'm like, whoa, this looks badass. And it is badass. It's the best concert film I've ever seen. I cannot get over this. I'm just, it's amazing. It's, And I love how they do something. For instance, um, during the um, the song "Ride the Lightning," James was having some problems with his microphone, and it went out, and he, you know, something went wrong with the PA system, and so what he did was he threw it down, and he went to another microphone, and then you see a shot of these guys trying to figure out what it is, and you know, and it's just you gotta see the movie for yourself to find out what happens. They integrated that moment with the story of the movie, and they they just integrated it. In it. It really is just a badass film, and I am so glad I bought this. Um, it came out yesterday, um, so I highly suggest you know checking it out if you uh, if you want to stream it, if you want to rent it, you can get it on video on demand, you can get it on uh, iTunes, you know, other places like that. You know, you could buy it, in it's in stores now, but it went on uh, sale. Like I said earlier, in the unboxing, went on sale in the Metallica store earlier, and it just, it, I'm sorry, it just blew me away, and I am just pumped. This film is amazing, and the special features on it are great, like, uh, the Master of Puppets music video, I watched that, and I was like, whoa. And then they got the cast and crew interviews, and then they got a documentary on the making of the film, a film festival Q&A with Metallica, the, uh, guy who plays Trip Dan Feehan and the director and the Orion Festival 2013 film tent highlights with Lars Arvik. Now the Orion Festival is a festival that they hold um, that they started in 2012 the band and they did it last year they're not going to do it this year because it's going to interfere with their um, Metallica by request tour so they can't um, but probably next year um, if they're not on tour for their new album obviously. Um, but I mean, overall, this movie is great. And yeah, so anyways, Orion, uh, each member of the band has something that they love and they turn it into a tent for them. For instance, James, other thing other than making music is cars. Lars is his films. Kirk's is horror and horror memorabilia. He's got a whole little thing. And then fourth is Robert and skating. And um, it really is a great film. Um, it's rated R. For let me see, too small to read. It says some violent content and language. So, but other than that, it's it's a great film, and uh, it's it really is. Uh, there's 17 chapters overall, as in oh, and watch after the credits because the credits you'll see a major. Um, You'll see them, well, yeah, just watch the credits, and you'll see what happens. But um, it's just a great film overall. I can't get over how awesome it is, you know, with the pyrotechnics and the lasers and then, you know, all the effects. And each song, each song has a special effect to it or a little special tribute that, like, uh, for instance, uh, and Justice for All is, if you remember the Damage Justice Tour, it's Lady Justice clapping, obviously. And then, you know... Master of Puppets and all that stuff. It's it's great. It's a really great film. Uh, for any Metallica fan or any non-Metallica fan, you know, because the narrative really just pulls you in and you, you want to see what happens next. So um, yeah, that's basically it. And uh, so I'm thinking about giving the um digital copy code away, but. I don't know about it yet because I really love this movie and I really don't know if I'm going to give this up. But I have plenty of others back there. 
put that there. And so, you know, with all my Blu-rays and everything, I got plenty of uh, digital copies. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. So I might give that away. If you guys have seen the film, comment below and tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you think about, you know, the, everything. Just tell me. If you see, haven't seen the film, I highly suggest you check it out. You can get it on Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D, regular DVD like I have. Uh, the uh, special edition, limit, deluxe edition, Blu-ray 3D, where it comes with two lithographs and uh, a bandana, a limited edition bandana, and two limited edition lithographs. And if you're part of the Metallica fan club, Met Club, you can get the deluxe Doris edition, where you can get the um, everything that comes in the regular pack, but you can also get a piece of the actual Lady Justice statue for you, with a certificate of authenticity and everything, um, and I'm pretty sure those will go on eBay pretty soon. Um, and, you know, the lithographs are signed by the band, or at least one of them is, and, you know, they got the bandana and everything else, and, you know, so it's really, it's just, they're doing everything to make this, you know, and it really, it did, it did really good, I mean, maybe amazing at Halloween Horror Nights, because I saw some really really made potential things in this movie like yeah I mean if you haven't seen it I highly suggest you check it out again uh and that's all I gotta say about that really um so yeah this is Adam Relate to Jen signing off I'll see you guys later and uh yeah I'll see you guys when our new uh next HE Gen update comes out or I decide to give this away I'll do a little contest so I'll see you guys later again signing off